Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to code signal. We're in the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of a playlist and you want to start from the first video, I'll put a link in the description below so you can click on that and go there. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to the arcade, I'm going to Python. And then we were in this section still, complexity of comprehension, uh, number 34. So looks like your little brother doesn't want to remember the multiplication table. Instead, he wants to play video games all day long. To teach him a lesson, you'd like to write a virus that'll pop up in the middle of the game and disappear only when the brother uh, correctly solves several math questions. To begin with, you need to construct a multiplication table. Given an integer n, return the multiplication table size n times n. So for n equals 5, this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to have this outer list, and then you're going to have five lists uh, for n equals 5 within it. And in it, within each list, uh, there's going to be five items. So you can think of it here as, let's say, there's a 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, and then there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you just multiply the two numbers by the intersection. So here it would be 3 times 3 is 9. Or if you go here, it's 5 times 2, which is 10. So it's just a multiplication table. So they want us to be able to construct that with code. So here we've got, so this is the list comprehension. You can see it's got the brackets here, and then it's got four loops within it. In this case, we're doing two for loops. And what we're doing is we've got an inner bracket here and we're here cycling through X and then the, in the outer one we're cycling through Y. You could choose I or J is very common or you could choose any variable you want. It doesn't matter what you choose for this. So how we're cycling through it is we're starting with the number one. If you don't put a number here in the range then it'll go from zero uh, to whatever number you put up, uh, not inclusively. So we want to start with 1, since our multiplication table is going to start with 1. And then n plus 1, so this would be like putting 6 in here if we have an n equals 5. But this is not inclusive, so actually it'll do 1 through 5 when it cycles through, because it doesn't include the last number in this here. And then do the same thing for this, uh, this outer for loop. So what's going to happen is you're going to have x equals 1 to start with and y equals 1 and then x is going to go up to 2 and y is going to continue to be 1 for this line uh, so you're going to have 2, 3, 4, 5 and then y is going to go up to 2 and then x is going to go back to 1 so it's 2 times 1 2 times 2 as x increases, uh, 2 times 3, etc. And so that's going to go on to construct the whole table. So if we run that, we'll see that that works, and it works for any n we want to use. All right, hope you guys are able to follow along with that, and I hope you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.